dear friends, this will be a very short overview of this Russian video. While in the videos of this playlist I have explained who is Alexander Paramonov and why did I decide to keep bringing to the English-speaking public his messages. Basically I will list a few new points from the three and a half hours long speech and we'll start with the history of the Vatican which according to Paramonov actually originated in uh, Egypt when the Kali Yuga, also called the Night of the Swarok, started. By that time, the reptilian residents of the worlds of Orion, which according to him are primarily reptilian realms, by that time distortion has entered their consciousness and they were already in the grip of evil and they decided to extend their cobweb to Earth. And basically ancient Egypt was a portal for them. So they attempted to corrupt the priests of the Supreme Lord Ra, which according to Paramonov is the Godfather as we know it, for example, in Christian terms, and not just one of the many gods. And that is known as the cult of Amon Ra. So over there in Egypt, they started making the people weak in every respect and ignorant so that later on uh, they could be easily bamboozled. Subsequently, they shifted their headquarters to Europe, to the Vatican, and then by using the Jesuits as proxy, having finally a green light on because of the beginning of Kali Yuga, they were allowed to slaughter some 90% of the population of the great race. They were making temples for their cult, building them out of human skulls, and then intervened the order of the Hospitalier Knights and um, took them the right of being an order at that time. And they said, okay, we'll improve from now on, we'll do only like uh, minor social work, we are not gonna be his order anymore. Uh, just uh, don't kill us, uh, we will uh, change and all that. And indeed, they stopped being an order and they just took another shape. They gave different name and logo to their organization, but its essence remained the same. And this new structure is the dark so-called uh, aristocracy, which we know don't even hide that they are satanists. So at the current moment, Paramonov continued, since the end of Kali Yuga is coming, the transition to the new parasitic free society will be organized by the 13th head of the Hospitalier Knights Order, which is himself, and the Parasites, they know that, and that's why through media and Hollywood deceit, they have always uh, tried to create negativity of the masses towards the number 13 and make it look like something dangerous, while actually 13 is uh, lucky in the sense that this is uh, the number of the ascension. So actually Paramonov himself, he has not given an ear for the key events, but now he's uh, making it clear once again that it will be within his lifetime. So what is the role of a parasite? Originally, in the original earth as God Ra created it, the need of parasites was when somebody accidentally swallows some toxin or something rotting, immediately there would come some good productive parasite and clean it up and then go away. That is their true function. However, they distorted the things and created, deceived the human race into constantly ingesting toxins and rotting stuff so that they will constantly need parasites to constantly feed on the rotting stuff which is organized by the toxins. And it is very similar with the lately fashionable sicknesses, Paramonov explained. They blame it all on nature. What can we do? God has made the earth like this that uh, humankind is constantly hammered by pandemics. Pandemics do not uh, belong to the humankind. 
Our original ancestors lived for a couple of hundred years and were youthful and healthy until the end with their own teeth and young hair. But now as the people accepted the deal of the Orion lizards, they also subscribe to the belief of uh, creating for themselves labs and then these uh, sicknesses, they uh, stay in the closet uh, hiding for some time and every few months or few years uh, they dress up in a new form and come out again. All these are things actually which originated in Orion. And here they have this very sly approach to take the very powerful patterns and symbols from the benevolent god. For example, they started building their cults on Osiris, who was the son of Ra himself, and they fabricated their dark uh, Egyptian cults with uh, the personality of Set, the Egyptian Set, not uh, Set as uh, in the Jane Robert books. And Set, it actually comes from Sweat, which uh, means light in the old Slavic languages. And everything they borrowed from the benevolent gods, even the very name Satan in English, in the old uh, languages it is actually Satana, and originally this used to be a name of the goddess of spring, but they just uh, appropriated it for their own dark needs. And just as a footnote from me, in the latest uh, war which they organized, their hired gangs of murderers, they also actually use as their in insignia a couple of the symbols of the old Slavic gods. And getting back to the Paramonov content, for those who don't yet know what is the latest most popular war all about, it is not a clash between two countries. It is a gang of uh, hired headhunters, paid, very well paid, against the local people. And that's what it is all about. And um, the way they uh, pay these hired personnel is, um, what is it, some eight years ago they buried uh, big boxes with dollars. and. Now they tell them go and overtake this region and kill the people in that area and then you will be told to the location of the box and you can excavate it and be rich. So once they devastate the people in a given area, uh, they are told what is the location of the box with dollars. And Pramanov once again revisited this uh, incident which took place uh, during the previous war in the same region. At that time, there was, uh, of course, some of the military presence was fighting against this uh, gang of murderers. And one day, they simply did not have enough soldiers and equipment to defend the few villages which uh, would be likely taken over very, very soon. So then the military asked help from the special services because the task was, we have no people, we don't know what to do, now you think of something. And um, the special services at that time, they sent a few people in the villages, uh, collected just all the villagers in one big gathering, and they simply told them how to do an ancient local ritual, calling their ancestors for help, that was all. And since the villagers were sincere, and most importantly, all of them came together and, and took part in that ritual, it really worked. And after that, uh, in the media it was reported that it seems uh, this and that side, I don't want to mention, uh, used psychotronic weapons because uh, the gangs, when they came near the villages, they were overtaken by panic. Uh, they threw away, abandoned their vehicles and weapons and started running in the fields in uncontrollable panic. But such results will be there when people actually sincerely take part, all of them together, especially group, big groups of people, because then the energy is very high. It's by really participating sincerely in that and not just uh, sitting in the chair and philosophizing how and if it will work.
So in the video, Paramon also spoke about uh, a quote from the Slavic Vedas, where back then it was written that our wise ancestors hid gold very deep in the ground for rainy days when their hairs, their clan will be facing extinction due to demonic attacks and now is the time when uh, this will be used. And in this video he also spoke about the importance of uh, taking shelter in the cross sign because uh, this is the symbol uh, which the benevolent God gave us to protect ourselves from the demons. That's why in the fairy tales and in the old stories we always hear that these shadow creatures when they actually see a proper human, they run away, they don't, they cannot stay in the face. As it is said in the prayer which I gave in the previous uh, videos, in the face of those who love God. So taking shelter in the symbol of the benevolent creation and living according to those principles, that is what uh, can give immunity towards the demonic sicknesses and other tricks. And then if you notice the original video, as almost all of his uh, public speeches is quite long, three and a half hours. And many of the points will not be new for those who have been uh, listening to the Team Hard Heart channel, which I'm recommending since years. Like, for example, a very basic point uh, for understanding who are we and where we live is to say goodbye to the illusion that we live on some planet where life appeared among the hostile elements. First of all, we don't live on a planet in the way they describe it, but in a magical realm. And second of all, something extremely important, which Paramonov and Seth stress again and again, that nature, our environment and our fate, in terms of the events which uh, come upon us, they are never hostile. This is not the way God intended and the way God made it. The natural calamities uh, which now they organize with the help of technology are the best example of how they want to trick the people into uh, this hostile mentality, make them hate the world and their own lives and their fellow men. In the same way, century after century, they planted uh, wrong beliefs in people's minds and now is their harvest time. The human race will eat the fruits of all the resentment and uh, hostility it had life after life, incarnation after incarnation. Pramonov also spoke about uh, the uh, beginning of how they started to distort uh, the normal human consciousness they exaggerated a quality which is uh, naturally present within uh, the male, the, the man, and that is some sort of uh, aggression, which did exist in a very, very mild for us form in the original man, as God created him. But over there in Orion, the, the lizards, they managed to distort that. That's why now when the world leaders, their puppets, they're all men, because they are easier to convince into misleading the people in wars and uh, all these uh, unhuman things. Seth also explained that the gender roles have been uh, heavily modified in our society to play the people against uh, one another, and in the new world it will be different. Actually, uh, both genders will be closer. It will be not as much uh, polarized as it is now. And in the contact options, actually, a long time viewer, he submitted something, he felt offended from something I said in uh, one previous video. He said that uh, I was unfair to him. And I can only apologize, and I certainly do apologize, this is an illustration because besides the general things which we all have to learn, 
every soul also has a personalized task in each and every incarnation to accomplish, to develop certain qualities. And for me personally, uh, one of the major things I need to develop in this life is how to always uh, be nice to all people and never ups upset anybody for any reason whatsoever. Apparently I sometimes fail, obviously. It is not important just to always tell the truth to the best of our knowledge, but exactly as the Lord himself, he doesn't uh, scream at us or even tell us in any way when we do terrible mistakes. He keeps quiet because he respects the freedom which he has given us. And in the same way, even when we are really right and when somebody is doing nonsense, this is not a reason to speak in a harsh manner to such person, unless you know him or her very well, and you know that uh, he is able to take criticism without uh, being offended, which is a sattvic quality for sure, and that's why not many people have it. And if you sometimes feel irritated uh, now on the other side, if anybody at any time feels irritated by the other people, the way they treat him, the way maybe they offend him, sometimes they tell him the truth, sometimes not, sometimes he doesn't understand that this is the unpleasant truth. It doesn't matter actually if he told the truth or not. The important thing is the irritation and the disturbance. When that happens, this irritation is a red flag alert that you have something to correct in your belief system which can be hard uh, in the beginning to even notice and later on to uproot from our uh, behavior pattern because this is something which uh, we have observed since we are small and for those who watch TV day uh, this uh, behavior pattern is reinforced every day yeah something offends you and it, it's, uh, it makes you nervous these are all things which the lizards have taught to us just so that we lose our temper and get angry and then they have uh, the right on our souls because uh, anger is the path to hell. So if from today on you take up upon another behavior pattern when somebody does or says something which makes you nervous, this either means that uh, you are hearing uh, a truth which is difficult for you to accept and uh, getting angry will further blur your discrimination and you won't be able to think and consider is it really true or not. So anger is useless in this scenario and the second option is uh, that the person doesn't know what is he talking about, he is blaming you for things you did not do. So a person who is in such a mental fog blaspheming others, he is to be pitied. You don't have to get angry because that will uh, fog you and you will become like him. By simply thinking deeply and understanding the uselessness of anger and then making a firm resolution that you are not going to go this path from today on, that is a perfect illustration of how your belief system will actually bring about profound changes in your life immediately. Because if you do decide and eliminate anger from your life as of today, it will be such an enormous relief as if you have been walking with a 30 kilos rucksack on your back your entire life without knowing it and now you drop it suddenly. And um, if you say, oh, I don't fully agree because I should stand my ground and this will make me pussy cats in the eyes of others. Well, we are entering uh, such a phase in the end times that uh, they even officially strip the people of God of uh, human rights. Exactly as uh, they are training dogs to chase upon command or chase certain type of people, in the same way now with the use of the media, they are teaching the common people how to hound upon anybody who has uh, any common sense left in their head and doesn't want to surrender flat to the parasites. So in the current moment, it is a very good idea to learn how to never be disturbed by any confrontation or by the nonsense or the insult of others because if you have decided to remain human, 
you will be spied upon, you will be showered with most unbelievable accusation. That is coming for sure. And when that starts, uh, the overall situation will be also... It seems way more difficult than now. So I think now is the time to learn how to have this steady sattvic consciousness which is never disturbed by others. And at last I would like to recommend the film uh, to you. It's a documentary about uh, the miracles of Bruno Groening. I can compare him only to Otro Vyacheslav. And for example, when he would uh, miraculously heal sometimes uh, hundreds or even thousands of uh, people together, he held small, very simple speeches, but they were very profound, like the things he said were sickness does not belong, it is not natural for the human, a point which also Paramonov uh, covered in this video extensively. And also Paramonov mentioned that um, very often people come to him and they want only simple answers. They don't want these uh, hours long lectures. They have a simple demand and they need a few sentences, maximum two or three as a solution, and it has to be practical. And he answered to this that uh, the easy two sentences solutions which people seek for the problems, actually they are not there, they will not work. They need to correct the entire definition of what human is to be on the stage of uh, sickness does not belong to the human race. If we want to be like our deep ancestors, who were basically absolutely healthy, we need to become like them. They would get up in the morning, they would do the cross sign with their arms towards the skies, and they would fill up their consciousness with the gratitude to the Creator. Now, this state of being filled up with gratitude that is the important thing. But the modern man who doesn't understand the laws of magic on which our world uh, functions, he will think, but that is just a mental state. I need some uh, practical solution. And he continues with his negativity and hostility and resentment towards others on a daily basis. He lacks true education, true vision. And he doesn't understand that the practical problems with the neighbors or the work or the money or the wife, they actually spring from his neg negative mindset. He cannot see that. And that's why he never even tries, let's say, for one month, let me just float in gratitude and see how it will work. For one month, I will never allow any hatred or irritation. And that's why, as Paramonov said, People have accepted the devil, and this path is self-destructive. The universe is made in such a way that good initiatives, they are fed and they will last forever. While the bad seeds, the unwanted weeds, they will blow up the entire world together with uh, their current bodies in it. And a handful of people will be saved by numerous miracles.